Or I couldn't. Uh, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't follow the game anymore. Like my uh, my brain wasn't functioning well enough to be able to keep up with the game. So I sat out in the woods for a few years. I didn't watch much hockey. There's not much TV out there. <laughs> Is that concussion? I'm assuming. I don't want to make any assumptions. But yeah, concussion it would relate. At least, I mean, I, I did play a long time in hockey. I had to have had something right. to do with it. You know? But it was... I'm sorry, was, was there any one specific kid or anything? That um, um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, there actually was in Florida my last year. Um, at the beginning of December, there was a concussion that changed my life. Definitely. I, uh, I lost the ability to um, essentially... I woke up the next morning after it, and I couldn't decide what I wanted to eat, where I wanted to go. Uh, I couldn't plan a schedule. Um, I survived following the team schedule the rest of the year and just, you know, made it through that season. But uh, uh, one year after I uh, stopped playing, I got a, a uh, what's called a Sarah scan, which is a uh, scan where they measure the blood flow of your brain uh, very accurately uh, using radioactive isotopes. And uh, uh, two thirds of my brain was getting less than five percent blood flow, mm -hmm. and the other third was averaging about fifty percent. So, if you can uh, put those numbers and really think through what that means to where I was, that's where I was. Are you at all interested in getting back involved in the game? Then, like that, you're maybe feeling. Uh, um, <laughs> not at this moment, right? Uh, no, I. It's been. It, I've I've struggled mightily with how do I um, process uh, what the experience that I've been through um, and rectify that with like the love of the game that I had my whole life until I crashed so to speak I guess I would I don't know where I stand on uh, completely um, the game of hockey at the levels where people are injuring themselves to the levels that they actually are and my my involvement in that so um, that's why I'm not at this point I'm not interested really in um, uh, getting involved <laughs> yeah. where, where you sit was there regret or did you look back and say why, well, if, why when did you, I when you when you when you can't, when you when you're there but not there and you can't think and it's but you're watching everything and you're seeing your family uh, you know suffer because you're suffering but you can't do anything about it and you can't even communicate um, which is I couldn't communicate with anybody for a few years I didn't I didn't call my dad I, I didn't talk to anybody and uh, so there was a time period yeah where I started to where I hated the game so to speak I didn't get fired I mean I didn't like sit there and I hate it just like um, my rebound effect was like <laughs> uh, this wasn't worth it <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, that's where I was then um, where I am today is past that and uh, I, I I ended up learning so many lessons out of the experience. Um, it brought me uh, tighter with my family. Um, it taught me a value for life. And a value for my brain <laughs> that I may, I've never had before. Um, and I have appreciation for everything that I never had before, so I don't regret anything. Does an event like this make you think about all those things that you do appreciate about it? Yeah, um, <clears throat> um, being welcomed back into uh, the arms of the hockey family, so to speak, uh, has been great. Um, it's reminded me of all the great people that I that 
that I crossed paths with all throughout my career. So uh, it's been very impactful. I think that was the original question. How to difficult is it just to stand up here and talk to us? I didn't want to talk about this. I didn't want to talk. I, I didn't want to tell the world this stuff. I, uh, not till I, I felt ready and I didn't feel ready yet. <laughs> but here I am, right?